A major crime bust in Ozaki County. Police arrested a man with nearly 2,000 fake gift cards meant to steal your money. Prosecutors say he targeted two Walgreens stores. Stephanie Quirk says police believe he's tied to a much larger crime ring. It was Thursday afternoon inside this Walgreens in Grafton when the store's manager noticed something off. An alert is to a man that was in the store that they believed to be placing gift cards back on the rack. Once police arrived, they say the man, 52-year-old Guanggo Zhu, was gone, but he wasn't far. Cedarburg, which is a community adjacent to us, um, also received a call that the man was over there. Officers pulled him over as he left the Cedarburg Walgreens and searched his car. Two duffel bags were located inside the vehicle um, that contained uh, 1,807 gift cards. Prosecutors say he didn't intend to use any of those for his own shopping, but instead for stealing. The gentleman that was arrested was on probably on the lower rung of this uh, criminal enterprise. Court records say Zoo is part of a large-scale gift card scam. Scammers will either steal or obtain gift cards illegally, retrieve the card numbers and PIN, and place them inside stores for people to buy. So once it's activated, the money gets transferred via the dark web or um, what's called a bot to the scammer and then that money becomes theirs. While officers put the scam to a stop in Ozaki County, detectives say Zoo's car has been all over Wisconsin, Indianapolis, and Chicago this last month. He's charged with four counts of forgery and three counts of identity theft. Now he's due back in court on December 5th for a status hearing. A court commissioner set his bond at $250,000. Reporting in Grafton, Stephanie Quirk, Fox 6 News. Now, police are urging people to inspect any gift card before buying it in a store. Zoo remains in the Ozaki County Jail tonight.